Hello everyone, this is Scott from NailExision.com and today I want to be showing you how to configure the Yoast SEO plugin for my arcade plugin. My arcade plugin allows you to create tons of games and create a perfect arcade site built off the WordPress platform. I'm going to show you how to properly configure your SEO plugin so that way each of your pages are up to the standard that they should be without you having to lift a finger. Your title separator is completely irrelevant, however typically I recommend doing the small dash so that way your title still looks good in the Google search and doesn't take too much time. Uh, no, Don't index the subpages or archives because this can hurt your uh, website's ranking because it will have duplicate content. Use the meta keywords tag, it doesn't typically do anything to do it, most search engines don't even count it anymore but it's an extra setting that may be useful to you. You hide your WLW manifest links which is uh, Windows Live Writer because you will not be using that and hide your short link for post because typically you're not using the jetpack wordpress.me short link. Don't hide your RSS links because if you do uh, certain browsers will not be able to recover your RSS feed properly which causes attic. However, it's not going to really hurt you because most people will not be subscribing to an RSS feed for an arcade site. On your home, set your keywords template. Don't do more than two. Don't do more than three. If you do too many, it's going to hurt your rankings, and they may register you as a spammer. Create a simple description and a title. For your post template, I recommend doing the following: do your title of the page, the separator, and the arcade, and then your do a separator and then your your site name. So that way if I come over here to 3D Chess, I'm going to have just 3D Chess. If you come over to your pages, you're going to have the same deal. While it should be showing, while well, some would say that they, they would like to have the title of the page shown where it's 3D Chess dash the arcade corner, I don't find that to be useful at all. Some don't want to show the, show the date and snippet. I do because it always can help. Uh, typically, though, you're not going to use this on an arcade site. I did it because it's, I guess, I have like an OCD with the type of thing. Don't index your media pages. And do the basic settings. Show date in snippet preview. This is for your forums and your topics and replies. Those are typically useless and you shouldn't worry about configuring them. Your taxonomies are already done for you. No follow your formats because there's no reason for the format to be followed. And other on your author archives, I've done developer of blank at this developer profile of the name of the person at this website. Not everyone on your site is going to be a developer, but your authors should typically be. Authors and contributors should be. I disabled date-based archives, and your 404 template should look as followed. Those are the basic settings. Um, anything that you would like to be changed or is all fairly standard. Typically, you should keep your t categories and ta tags pages uh, followed. While many say that you should put no follow so it focuses on the content, it actually can help the, help the Google bot follow the structure of your page. Not only that, but it can help you de generate site links. Site links show under the main page on Google. So if you go to a website like CNN, they're going to show like justice, news, and videos underneath those. Those are site links. Categories make great site links especially on arcade sites, so make sure you keep those there. And if you get a specific category that you don't want to be a site link, you can change it through the Webmaster Tools. There's little to be done in the world of your um, forums, but I always say don't index your replies. Don't know why that wasn't checked. And it's actually not even, it's removed from my sitemap but keep the topics and the forums on there physically. That is about all 
for this if you are using a premium version or some other plugin put them in the comments below and I'll make sure to check them out and help you this is the optimal configurations for your meta tags and keywords so thank you very much for watching please stay tuned for the next video and we're going to cover the different parts of the eight pages in the next video so thank you very much for watching and goodbye